Hi, welcome to 247 Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can open the Xbox 360 and remove all the components, including the heatsink and motherboard, so you can have access directly to the processor. Let's get started with this. Okay, let's start opening it. Uh, this portion by sliding that piece. I've lost it, I don't know where it is. So the first thing, this is it. Now to remove this piece at the top, in one hand I'm holding and rotating it a little with a little force, and on the other hand I'm just pushing here to Yes, so this portion is out, I'm holding it. Now I'm going in here, in the middle one, that's done. That now then, then the last one. Yes. So here and here. So this is now removed. The most fragile piece. I think it's wireless cord, that's out. Now let's do it this way. Yes. Once one piece is up, then you can hold it with your fingers. So, you see these two are the same, but this was different. This is now open, both sides. Now I'm trying to open this up like that, remove the seal. This seal was holding it exactly at the end of this serial number and here. So, you need to insert something thinner than many screwdrivers, maybe. Let's release it, release this clip. And, and then with a flat screwdriver, turn this and then push this piece. Okay, so this is now removed. This is now removed. And here, we have two more cuts here, which we can remove with this flat screwdriver, like that. One, and then two. So, it has been removed now. And this portion is removed. Let's open this, these screws on this side. One, two, three, four, and five. And to open those, I'm using this hex tip. This is ten. This is T ten H. So I've removed these five screws. Now let's see. So easily removed and this side now pops out. But we have to be careful about this, this portion. There is a wire holding it. Remove this cable, make sure to lift this green portion first, once that is done, then push this out and then this will pop out. And this is now removed. Remove this as well to see what is going on underneath this. Now let's remove this wireless piece if we want to.
So that's the Wi-Fi or wireless module. Once you remove that, this can be removed. And here is what you have access. I want to open this portion and clean up the heatsink. But before that, let's remove the CD drive. The CD drive is just loose. It needs wires to be detached and we are good. Let's remove the hard drive wire first. And after that, remove this. And this is out. See if there is any dust or anything underneath because the fan is working perfectly, but why it says heating up? So I have to do that. So this was just a simple piece that was holding it. Okay, let's open this. On this side we have this screw. Let's just open it first. Okay, once you open it, this is open. But we have another screw here on this side, on and here. Now this piece is fully removed. We remove the fan now by disconnecting it from here. This thing seems very clean. Now let's open the heat sink and have these four screws. Uh, this is T9. I have to hold this from this side before opening this. So, uh, let's see. I have to remove all these screws. Uh, one here, two, three, four, five, six. Using these six screws to remove the motherboard. So the first thing, this will go out now. Let's remove these two screws to remove this panel. Now we can remove it. We can remove the motherboard. Trying to remove this clip that is holding the heatsink. I have to insert this flat screwdriver on this. Like that, one is out. Now I'm holding it because this is now loose. I have to hold it from the bottom. Be careful, any components will pop out. We have to not touch the motherboard. So this is out. And then the last one will be out like that easily. And here, I'm removing it, but this is not blocking, it's just a little dust. This seems very totally dried. And this is as well, as you can see, I'm going to put a compound, that's why the heat was not being transferred to this. Now I have heat transfer compound or paste. Let me put here a little.
And let's clean this up. And also there is a little dust here. I'm gonna clean this up as well with vacuum cleaner. Now to put the heat sink, the USB is on this side. Make sure to pay attention this longer pen will be on the other side and the shorter will be towards this chip. Now I've inserted that. I'm putting something underneath so that and then the same way force it to the other side and it will be attached. And this is fully assembled. Then uh, pay attention to all those connector slots for this. We will just put it like that so it goes into those slots. And make sure that these are aligned. Here, yeah, all of these. So two here, two here, one here. Let's see. Let's put the power switch module. The power, the front panel. Push this a little so this can go. Now let's put these four screws for the heatsink. Now then let's put this one back. And let's insert the fan back. Now I'm putting this hard drive caddy. Now this fan goes on the heat sink after this and there are these two screws here. First let's put the DVD ROM.
when you want to put it, put it back the same way. First, make sure that this, this portion is in, and then clip this in. So when you're putting this, this, you see the side that we have the Wi-Fi? Put it in the side that we have this hole. The same, you will not make mistake. There are certain holes that it will not fit if you put it in the wrong way. That is done. Now on this side, where we have the hard drive, put this in here. Then the last piece on this side. Thank you for watching. Uh, please thumb up the video if you learn something and resolve your issue. And also, please type something in the comment section below. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe. Your subscription is really valuable to me. So now it makes a lot of noise and it will shut down. No video, nothing. There's been no plug though, use the remote. Okay, the video is here. And still we see this warning shutting down. And it shut down, now it is red blinking and turn off.